Whether it will be Captain Carter or someone else entirely, or should we say one particular actor who would like to play the Captain Britain character? His or her debut would probably come in the perfect moment in the MCU if it happens in the upcoming two or three years, because it is probably the most important thing for the character. Not being placed where the character does not belong, with the multiverse saga being the perfect place for Captain Britain, who will guide us along the mysticism of the multiverse. With all the events happening in the multiverse, especially the ones that take place in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, some would say that Agent Carter's persona could be identified as that of the infamous character from the Marvel Universe in the comics, Captain Britain. Well, we are here to tell you that despite the similarities, the Union Jack-clad costume donning the colors of Great Britain, Peggy was never called as Captain Britain, but rather Captain Carter. Right from the character's first appearance in the first episode of the What If series, after which Peggy was put in the live action, she resonated as an American-style shield-wielding superhero who insisted on the new rank she held in the latest Doctor Strange movie, Captain Carter. Nothing more, nothing less. Which, on the other hand, is what you would expect from a true Captain Britain, who would be unlikely to assume such a flashy mantle. All of this falls down to British culture, seeing itself as the opposition to the egoism of America, at least in the Marvel Universe. And despite the heroes stemming from Britain being superpowered, they always managed to cloak themselves in modesty. This notion was something Marvel struggled with in the past, when Captain Britain came to life in 1976, all thanks to Alan Moore. Created by the future author of Watchmen and V for Vendetta, Alan Moore introduced the character as part of his surreal fight against fascism, and ever since, the character to this day forward lives a weird kind of halfway existence in Marvel Comics. And don't worry if you do not have the knowledge of the character, because there is no one true Captain Britain. The title gets passed around, and often held by female characters as well, which makes Peggy's assumption of the role less surprising than you might think. The comics also showed that the Captain Britain character is all over the multiverse. The different variants of the character even banded together in a Captain Britain corpse when they had to protect the multiverse. So you can see by this fact alone, the Captain Britain persona is a lively one and not a stranger to the naked eye, which is why we think a project regarding the character is probably one of the best steps Marvel Studios could take in the near future. But more on that a bit later. There have been a lot of rumors about a live-action Captain Britain to be in the works. The news first came through at the start of 2021, with the speculation being that a live-action Captain Britain would come to the MCU via Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, whether the rumors were hinting towards Captain Carter's debut in the role or something else entirely, we are still not quite sure. Which is why we think that we should take you down memory lane and look through the history of the character, or at least most notable versions of the character, to get you up to speed and let you figure things out and know the character more. The first one to hold the mantle when the hero was introduced to the Marvel comics was Brian Braddock, who also has a twin sister Betsy, better known as Psy Luck who is also the current Captain Britain in the comics. After being involved in a motorcycle accident, Braddock is given an offer from the sorcerer Merlin and his daughter Roma, an offer Braddock could not refuse, which eventually turned him into Captain Britain. The character was later revealed to be part of a team that we later came to know by the name Captain Britain Corps, which featured multiple versions of Braddock, including the likes of Captain Albion, Captain England, and Captain UK, a team formed by Merlin himself with the sole mission of the team being to protect the multiverse, with their base of operation being in the mystical other world outside of this team and his solo missions. Captain Britain throughout his history in the comics has also been seen in team-ups featuring Spider-Man, Captain America, Daredevil, and the X-Men, with their recent adventures teaming him up with the likes of Team Excalibur. Thus, as audiences try to explore the secrets and wonders of the multiverse through the MCU, it would be an intriguing thing to see Captain Britain finally appear, whether it is one version of the character or many. Putting aside, according to us, the best possible way in which the character could come in the MCU through a Disney Plus series, the upcoming second season of the What If series, which could also put him in the spotlight, with us seeing yet another version of the character, who could then interact with Captain Carter, a female Captain Britain already present in the events to come. The other options for the debut of the character include the likes of any upcoming X-Men project within the MCU and the anticipated Black Knight movie, with both being recent additions to the MCU and both having ties to Captain Britain. 
One interesting detail we ought to share with you is the fact that the Braddock name has already been mentioned in the MCU from the side of Peggy Carter in Avengers Endgame. The scene does take place in the 70s, so it might not be Brian himself, and rather his father James, who Agent Carter is referring to. But still, it is a confirmation that the Braddock family has a history in the MCU and is already connected to S.H.I.E.L.D. Whatever the case may be, the possibilities are somewhat endless, especially since Moon Knight head writer Jeremy Slater expressed his interest in adapting the Excalibur team from Marvel Comics and taking it to the Disney Plus streaming platform. The main thing about the character is that he or she has to be done at the right time, with Captain Britain being allowed to work at a certain time of the MCU's timeline. And with how the multiverse saga is shaping up, Captain Britain would make a perfect guide to explore things even further. Marvel's deeper exploration of mysticism and the multiverse, the time might have finally come for us to get to see the Captain Britain character make his or her debut. For many years now, the fans of the MCU have wanted the character to appear in the live action, and we as well think now is probably the perfect time for the character. Judging by the way in which the MCU is going, and will go, in the upcoming Phase 5 and Phase 6, the character has unique ties to the multiverse. As we said before, existing as a member of the multidimensional team of heroes, each holding the mantle on their respective Earth, protecting Britain from threats far and wide, with the aid of magic and sorcery, the Captain Britain Corpse. And despite how fascinating the hero is, worthy of a solo movie, we think that a Disney Plus TV show would be a better suit for the introduction of the character, a series that would showcase the different versions of the character across multiple universes and the multiple numbers of episodes, and then joining all of them together in order to fight the biggest threat the MCU will see, Kang the Conqueror, in the two upcoming Avengers movies at the end of 2025. And last but not least, when asked about the Superman mantle, Henry Cavill also voiced an interest in joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe, specifically saying that he would like to play Captain Britain, with his vision for the character being to present himself as a modern take for Brian Braddock, something like what Chris Evans did for Captain America. Plus, he also said that he does love being British, so there is that. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the character? Now that you have learned a thing or two about him slash her, do you think that Captain Carter will eventually become Captain Britain and star in her own standalone project? Or are you expecting something else entirely now that other actors are rumored for the role? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.